Hello and welcome to WP Manic. In today's video, we are going to review a project management tool named Blue. Blue is a simple and minimal but feature rich project management tool that helps managing projects in a very easy way. Blue offers unlimited team members. So, either it's personal or professional, we can use Blue for any kind of projects. Here we can see a demo of Blue's dashboard, we'll explore that in a moment. And in this section, we can see what Blue offers. Projects, boards, calendar, activity, mention, file upload and many more. If I go to its pricing section, there's nothing to talk about actually. Cause there is no pricing plan variation here. Blue offers one plan for all and that's $50 per month or $500 per year. And that's it. It doesn't matter how big your company is or how much you grow, you pay $50 per month or $500 per year and get everything unlimited including team members. Now if I need to say anything about this pricing plan, $50 seems a bit high especially if you are still planning to start or just start it up. But if you have a grown business then it's a no-brainer for you. But hold on, this can be cheaper for you. There's a discount code for you at the very end of this video, so keep watching. Anyways, let's explore Blue. We can create account from here, I already created mine so let me log into that. Here we are in Blue's dashboard, I have created a company naming trial test for this demo purpose. Up here the options are home, all activities, to-dos, and calendar. I can add my projects from here, for better sorting we can use folder option for our projects. And below here, we have to allow this if we want to get push notification from Blue. I am allowing it. Let's create a project. Here we can choose to start with a blank template or use the pre-made templates Blue offers. Let's see the templates. Here we can see there are a bunch of templates for different use cases, we can create our own template from here. Anyways, let's check this block content template. After selecting a template we get to see the preview of the template. Let's check another one. Let's go for this sales CRM template. And here we can see the template is different from the blog template. For this review I'll go with the blog template, so let's select and get started with that. Now I have to add the project details, I am naming this project as blogs. Now if I want to invite any team member I can do that. Or skip it. So here we are in our first project, exactly like the preview we saw earlier. We have these pre-made lists here. We can also add more, in case we need. Every template has this how to use this list, which helps to understand how Blue Team intended this template to be used. We can delete it obviously. We can rename the list title too. Let's add a to do and open it. We can see the title and in which list it's on, we can move it to another list from here. Then we can add a due date for this to do. We can assign it to someone, in this case myself. Add or use pre-made tags for better sorting. I am adding a tag and naming it as review. I can add a color code for it, going with this orange. 
and then we can add custom fields if we feel like something is missing or we need. We can select from these available field types and create our custom field. We can add descriptions or instructions With text formatting, emoji, GIFs, file attachment this section is a fun and nice way to describe or instruct. Then we can add checklists here. Let me create some. We can rearrange the checklists. We can actually set individual due dates and assignees for these checklists. In this right section we can see all the activity done so far for this specific to-do list. And below this, we can post comments. And we can share, copy move or delete this to do from here. We can also drag and move the to-dos from one list to another. I'll be needing another task, so I am creating it. That's pretty much it, for the to-dos. Now let's see the other tabs we got up here. In this discussion tab we can communicate with our team members, we can post ours or comment on others' post. A very good way for team communication. And this update tab can be used as project updates, it's almost same as the discussion tab. We can say it's a filtered discussion tab for only work-related discussions. It also has a date filter, so we can filter the update posts by dates. Then comes this files tab, like said earlier we get everything unlimited, here we get unlimited storage to upload files. But the file size must be within 5 GB. In short we get unlimited storage but can only upload 5 GB per file. Which is a pretty decent limit according to me. With this form tab, we can create custom forms to add our projects easily, this can be filled by anyone we share the form with and the filled data will be added to our chosen list automatically. It's a drag and drop simple form builder. For demo purpose let's create a form. Here I am drag and dropping the fields I want to have in this form, and I can also create custom fields to use them as input in this form. I am creating a custom field for email addresses. Changing the titles of the input fields. We can change the form primary color. Set in which list the form data should get added. We can add a default ASINI too. And here we can upload our company logo. Let's check the front-end view of this form. I am putting some example data here, for demo purpose.
Submit. And our form is submitted successfully. Now, if I go to my to-do, I can see a task is automatically created under idea list with our form data. And from here we can see from which form this data was added. And this people tab is for managing the team members, clients, guest viewers and all that. Now let's go to this all activity, this shows us all of the activity has been done in this project from beginning. We can filter the activity date by last month, current month or current week. And in this to-do section I can see the tasks assigned to me or my to-dos. We can sync our to-dos with third-party calendar apps too. And then comes the calendar view, a great option to review or rearrange the tasks. We can reschedule or review projects based on our due dates. We can drag and reschedule our dates from here easily. And that will automatically update the previous date with the new one. That's all about the main features of Blue, there are some more options Blue offers though, including automation. We can change the default view from here. We have four views to switch between. Board, List, Calendar and Map. And then we can view or hide completed tasks. We can filter the to-dos by due date, assignees, tags and the custom field value. Blue offers some internal automations too, these are, if this, then that, type automations and those actually increases the workflow drastically. Here I am creating a simple automation, where, if a to-do is created under idea list, then that will be automatically assigned to me. Now let's create a task in the idea list, and see if it's working or not. And yes, it has automatically assigned the task to me. Blue also has mobile apps. You will get the links with other necessary resources from this resource tab. And now that's all about Blue. Blue actually does what it is made for, it truly serves the purpose of a project management tool. Minimal UI, easy to use, no learning curves, responsiveness makes this tool a no-brainer. Although $50 per month is expensive for small teams or startup companies. And that's why WP Manic is offering a 30% coupon code to its supporters. All you need to do is, go to the link from description box, create an account, go to your billing and choose the plan type. Select I have a promo code, and use WP Manic 30 to get 30% discount on your payment. The registration link and the coupon code both are in the description below, hope it helps. Let me know in the comment, what do you think about Blue? Are you getting it or not? That's all for today, thanks for watching the video, and your great support.